What's going on YouTube? It's Ali Dope and I'm checking in once again with another dope speed art. And today we're going to break down this Halloween inspired NFL poster. Okay guys, so here it is, Creatober. I'm a little late, but nonetheless, we here. Creatober, we kicking this week off with Sports Week. I figured since all the major sports are returning to gameplay, NFL, NBA, and the others, that I figured we'd do Sports Week to kick it off. Now, let me break down what Creatober is if you're first, if you're just now getting here. Now, Creatober for us is we go ham. We drop videos like three videos a week. Now, they're not always the most intricate or the best videos. The whole concept is to create. Each week is gonna be a different theme. So this week's theme is sports. I'll announce the theme during the first video of the week. So just tap into our IG, tap into YouTube. This week's videos are, this specific video is gonna be a speed art breakdown. So we're starting off with a speed art. Then in a couple more days, we're gonna do fonts, sports fonts for designers. And then for the third video, we're gonna make a sports highlight video. And then for the fourth and final uh, video, we're going to make a motion graphic poster featuring PSG um, from soccer. So that should be fun. Now, if there's anything specifically that you guys wanna learn, like a specific technique or something that I'm able to do it, drop that comment down below, send me a DM. I'm open to responding to people and letting people know what's going on. So just let me know. And then I, I wanna be able to add it to the list because I might be able to fit it into one of these weeks that we're creating with. Now, before we hop into this breakdown, please, if you could, like, subscribe, comment, so you don't miss a drop. For all the Creatober, you don't wanna miss it cause you wasn't subscribed, you forgot the channel name, you forgot that, you know what I'm saying? Regardless, let's hop into the computer, let's start breaking down this speed art. Yes, sir. Okay guys, hopping straight into the computer. I started off this project with a couple of different images at first. So I had to shift the images and reposition everything to kind of get it to fit what I want. So that's why you see a bunch of layers there already so right now what you see me doing right now is cutting out um using select subject the la rams and the san francisco 49ers players and setting them up so pretty much my idea when i was picking my images and things like that was something that looks like uh, a verse versus because i think they just played on monday so yeah that was kind of my goal And I'm looking for that good symmetry and that good balance right now. I threw out a little Golden State Bridge cause you know, San Francisco right behind the 49ers. I threw the stadium in there cause they were playing at home. I added like a ground, some field. So it looks, I don't know, Halloween-y, if that is a word. When I picked this picture, I already knew I wanted to interchange it for a pumpkin. So that's what I'm doing now. I just erased the medicine ball and put a pumpkin there. I also added some trees in the background to give the separation between the background and the foreground which is the main, the, the four players in the front of the foreground and the QBs are in the background. I added a little hand coming up out the dirt just for some character. I just adjusted it using some levels. And as you can see right now, I'm just placing everything where I think I want everything to be. I'm not even doing any actually adjusting or anything. I'm just placing everything. So now what do you see me doing now is adding some photo filters, a dark blue to give it this nighttime tone. And if you use the levels and adjust the bottom, you can get this like nighttime filter look. It doesn't matter if it's day or night. I'm adding some shadow and some highlights to some of the images, a little bit of clarity as well using the camera raw filter. And here to do these wounds for Matt, I found a picture of like a zombie girl and I pretty much just created a mask 
and I inverted the mask and brushed on where I wanted the spots to be. And it looks pretty natural. So like I said, I just made some adjustments to the actual wounds. I used Freddy for the Warriors. I mean, I used Freddy for the 49ers. I don't know why I used Freddy. I don't know. It's Halloween-y. I felt like it fit him better. Here, I'm adding some glow. Um, that's just a soft brush on a screened blending mode layer of orange, I'm adding some fog in here to start giving it some colorization. I'm adding a little gradient fill to the bottom. Here, I created a new layer and started adding some of the shadows on some of the players. Instead of using just drop shadow, it's just so uniformed. Actually going in there and creating your own depth of feel um, using a soft brush with black gives it a better result. Also here, I wanted some of the numbers and the uniforms to kind of glow a little bit. So I'm just cutting out the letters and I duplicated the layer and created a mask so that I can just create the glows on the numbers and some of the uniform pieces. I also turned down some of the levels and some of the players to give it that nighttime dark vibe. So like dark at the bottom, lighter on the top is what I was going for. Okay, so now you wanna create a solid color fill with a mask inverted to create these highlights that I'm creating um, from the glow of the pumpkin. You kinda of wanna do it on the inside leg, outside leg, all the places that you would think it would glow and the highlights would hit. That's basically what this is. Just copy and paste your solid color fill for each player or each thing that you need the highlight to hit. So everybody has their own highlights. And I like to do solid color because you can easily interchange any color. I could have made a yellow, I could have made a white. Now here, I add a slight glow of the team's uniform behind both of the players in the back. Once again, just to add that more dramatic effect. And that's not all for the effects. I actually went and added um, the glows to the eyes just by whiting out the eyes with the pen tool and using a little bit of glow and a little bit of inner shadow. That's what you see on the final result. Here you see me adding some fog lighting throughout the image, once again, for the dramatics. And now here, I do switch over to Illustrator to create this font because you can just have a little bit more control 
I took the font over to After Effects. If you haven't seen my easy 3D logo, you can do this with any type of text as well. I took that text and dropped the PNG into the poster. And then that's where I started making all my adjustments as far as gradient, inner shadow, glow, drop shadow. Those are some of the adjustments I made on the text. Now, if you guys want me to do a tutorial just on just the text alone, I can do that. But I do kind of have a tutorial with the 3D. And I felt like since the 49ers lost, <laughs> it's revenge season. So I felt like that's why I chose the word revenge season for the title. Now here, the poster is pretty much done. This is me adding some final touches, like the titling, words, a little bit more light, stuff like that. Once again, you're gonna go ahead and group everything, duplicate everything, and then create a, a camera raw filter on it. You can make the adjustments that you need to make. I usually mess with the clarity and the um, noise reduction just to give it the feeling I want. I also went and added an oil paint filter on it just so I can give it that a little bit more postery feel. That's what I do, you don't have to do it. And then I just went ahead and changed the blending mode and then um, turned the opacity down on that. I also adjusted the exposure and the levels of the overall project. The only thing like I'm looking at it now is I probably wish I added some highlights um, to the QBs and maybe some highlights to the two people on each side. That's the only other thing though. Overall, I love the design. And here you see me, I'm just adding a little bit more corn maze just because I felt like the foreground was so bland. And you could just show more foreground by, you know, adding a Gaussian blur on whatever is in the front because it just gives it that depth of feel. I also finalize it with an, a noise layer to give it a little bit of noise in the poster to separate it a little bit. Once again, I hope that helped you in some way, shape, or form and got those gears turning for you. Now remember you guys, if you could, please subscribe, comment so you don't miss the next drop. And if you could, just leave a like for the algorithm if you appreciated this video and showed any support. Don't forget to check out my store and see any digital assets that might help you on your next project. Yo, and then remember, always keep creating, keep hustling, most importantly, keep learning. And until next time, Ali Dope, I'm checking out. Yes, sir.